Every time I sneak into your house during family events, your deviled eggs are terrible. And, uh, we should just, I don't know, make them fancy. Do you want to make deviled eggs? Huh? Do you want to, do you want to stick around and make some deviled eggs with me? Do I have good lighting? Does this make you happy? I, I think we're going to make some deviled eggs. Yeah, let's do it. All right, a big discussion. Uh, how do you cook your eggs? when you're making deviled eggs, and uh, we're not even really making complete deviled eggs, but it's a big talked about issue. I wanna, I wanna move you over here so we can discuss. What you should do, apparently, say some scientists, is start your eggs from the fridge cold into hot boiling water, and if you want them hard boiled, about 11 or 12 minutes. So we're gonna try that, and I'm gonna be angry at science if they're wrong. Let's, uh, let's do it. All right, don't don't look over here. I made bacon earlier and some cheese stuff. You'll see it. Take your pot off. Get water in it. I hope you know how to do this. But, uh, yeah. This pot sounds like it's being injured. Poor thing. Yeah. Well, uh, while well, that fills up, do you want to talk about anything? Every, everything went okay, champ. I thought sure it was thirsty. Come here, come here. You dirty pot. Ooh. Cover your pot and it'll uh, boil faster. Fine, I know. You see, when you put fire on your pot, you're letting the pot marinate with the flames. So, uh, yeah, that's like cooking 101. You should, you should know to let the flames marinate with the pot and you'll know it's done when the water starts to you know jump around like it's a, uh, uh, jump around like a little excited little guy oh yeah keep on uh keep on cooking that's right now look at those delicious flames kind of just makes you want to What are you doing in there, ladies? You, uh, got no, no bubbling yet? Alright. You can tell I use this pot to cook the souls out of human beings. Oh uh, yeah. Look at that gorgeous soul. Oh, it sounds like we got some action. Oh, oh, in, not yet. Alright, back to what I was saying earlier. You know, dog, don't you make noises. I'm trying to explain to the people how I'm about to ruin their lives. Uh, I don't like your, uh, I don't like your hard-boiled eggs, and I'm, I'm prepping for Easter, you know, we're prepping far in advance. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do, instead of using, like, a mayo to make the stuffing, that's really boring, and you should feel really bored. I'm going to make Bernays deviled eggs, and I'm gonna use some, some Parma crisps to garnish. Uh, I forget what the leaf material fennel is, I think they're like sprigs or something, I forget the name, I didn't care to look it up. Uh, candied bacon, these are gonna hopefully look very interesting and make yours look very not good, and uh, I hope you uh, stick around to feel bad, or take this as an inspiration to get better. Alright, you can tell the water is boiling when your cheap pot is way too hot to touch. Oh, look at that. Look, just, would you would you just look at all that? Very nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, come here, my little would-be chickens. Make sure you eat your protein, children. Yeah, I'm gonna throw 14 eggs in here that are, like, cold, and they're then they'll warm up, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna start my little clock until the water returns to a boil. So yeah, there's that, and uh, yeah. Da -da -da. Hey, don't you crack, Mac. Da -da -da. These are some thick eggs. Very plump. All right. Yeah, that that's very nice. That's that's just great. Look, aesthetic. Very nice. Alright, return to a boil. Come on. 
If you return to a boil quickly, I might allow you to turn back into chickens. Uh, Alright, you know, look look at my dirty microwave. I mean, we're just going to start that because, lo and behold, they went back to a boil. Yeah, you just got to uh, cook the soul out of your little eggs and add them to the faces on your pot. Yeah, uh, I didn't really prepare too, too much for this, so I'm just going to get stuff going as I go. Onion washed way earlier because I was starting to do my job early, but then I decided, you know what, why? So, ah, I didn't sharpen this knife. That's okay. You don't need to sharpen your knife if you don't mind possibly getting cut. Just gonna, no, I didn't mean to go all the way through on those, but now I'm just gonna commit. That's so bad. That's so sad. Oh, I'm mincing it. I'm not dicing it. You know what? I don't care. I hope that broke your little... I hope that broke your trust with me to be able to have knife skills. I hope that made you incredibly sad. Like, no, he didn't do that. I don't... I don't care about your opinions. I might just throw this in a blender and make you really sad. I'm going to just, I'm going to spend time mincing this and not waste batter. Well, you, you know, now that I'm, I'm crying. Yeah, you know what, this, I'm cheap. I didn't even shell out good money for you guys. I bought the cheapest red onion I could find. The worst red onion. And this old room temperature red onion has me crying. That's so evil. You know, may, I can't always be evil, all right? I have to have some humanity. This whole video can't just be me being mean. But here's some red onion, minced. And it made me, made me sad. Made me t t angry. The chef's getting mad again. Yeah, now, now I'm just busting out more gloves. I don't even have time to do the next step. You know what, I'm not even busting out more gloves. These are about to be done. You, you see that pot back here? That hot baby right there? It's just getting so chaotic. Oh. I mean, uh, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, well, just gonna get a little bit of a sauna treatment. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells like eggs. I can smell your eggs. All right, time to give you epidermal burns. Not even gonna use a strainer. I hope this bogs up your view. Time to push all the grime that's inside my pipes into somebody else's pipes. Oh. Oh. You okay in there, guys? Yeah? Yeah? That, that, huh? You feel okay? Yeah? Huh? Alright. You gotta destroy your fridge for this next step. We got our very minced onion. Uh, we got a loud dog who's just shut the hell up. I'm gonna take your puppy thighs, remove them through your eyes. Oh my god, you want to see? This isn't even that great of a mince. I'm gonna be real honest with you, Chief. That's not even that great, but I don't care. Dog, I swear. You want to see some cooked puppy? Uh, I will t she's getting a good scratch on her. I can't even complain. Uh, here I have that stuff that comes off of fennel, and then that stuff that's a carrot top, because, yeah, and I'm just gonna, you know, a little loose, a little loosey-goosey, you know, just a tiny loosey-goosey. Very nice. Right, and not too chopped. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna add that right there. Uh, the... We just lost something off the table, that's fine. Now we're gonna take this tarragon that's been inside of my cabinet for God knows how long, and I was like, oh no, I don't have fresh tarragon. And I was like, well, I can just do an infusion. So we're gonna use a little bit of this, the dried tarragon that's like 20 years old. 
bet you this company doesn't even exist anymore. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. All right, so gonna take magical scale that works on the power of demons. I don't know if they ever taught you that in culinary school, but scales are demonic. You trying to tell me that this little thing just knows what things are? Yeah. You should use cream freeze for this, but this is sour cream. They're both soured cream or milk products, so I don't really know what the difference is. And somebody who's more knowledgeable and went to like true culinary school probably knows that answer, and so does Google. But hey, I'm gonna do three, roughly 3.35 ounces of sour cream. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. That's that's over the amount we wanted by like a hair. I don't care. I'm gonna take some homemade mayo. Shut up, fridge. I don't care you're making more ice. Uh, we're gonna take homemade mayo. That it smells good. Uh, it's kind of heavy in mustard because I was like, I just need a quick mayo. This might even be sweet. I didn't check. We're gonna just add that this is already sacrilegious, and that's okay. I, I, I'm not here to please you. I just noticed this mixing bowl has like dried, like, dried parsley on it and like something else. Oh, it's a little bit of parsley and cheese. You can't trust appliances to do anything. Uh, that was like 3.35 ounces of sour cream and 0.85 ounces of mayo. Uh, now I'm gonna add the other stuff in there. I'm not even gonna worry about that little messy bit in the pot. Uh, great. You can see like part of this, and that's okay, because that, that, I truly don't care. I have other things to do. Let's see, half teaspoon of mustard powder, and half teaspoon of lower sodium mustard. That's great. It's amazing. I like that. You know what? That's a little bit right here for you. Want a little bit of this in your face? Now, now I'm going to infuse some vinegar. I'm going to take some more dried tarragon, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna like let it simmer with a little bit of vinegar. And yeah, that's that's gonna have that's my infusion. I'm, no, no measurements for you. You know, I'm being so cheap for you, and this works because it, it works. But all I did was take the vinegar and uh, tarragon, put it in the microwave just until I saw it like almost start to simmer, and then took it out. Now I'm just stirring it, and I'm gonna let it sit here for like, I don't know, five minutes. I'm gonna go do self-destructive things in my room, like any true chef would. Nah, so uh, we're just gonna hopefully knock the camera, no, not knock the camera, I'm not knocking the camera on heaven's door, uh, we're gonna keep the camera from falling into this mixture because that almost happened and what is this just what is this D is that from like the container oh yeah it's cuz it's yeah. we're not gonna worry about that piece of plastic we're all full of microplastics anyways uh, this is just mixing the thing I was concocting earlier and it looks really interesting it doesn't really look like a Bernays sauce don't get me wrong this isn't like a true Bernays sauce. It's kind of like Bernays inspired. Like a cold Bernays inspiration. And uh, I hope that makes you sad. And I hope it makes you extra sad that I forgot to uh, infuse this vinegar with pepper. So we're gonna have to do it separately. Uh, you, can you agree that this looks like some type of substance? We're gonna take some freshly mortared pepper because and I'm, I'm not uh, you maybe you can see it that, 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 that. hold on D did you challenge me to think that I didn't have one of these things yeah I have one of these things it's it's just if you, if, if you forget to buy a pepper grinder or you break your other pepper grinder which I did if you you just you, you grab the peppercorns you kind of just until they start to break up, or you just go like that, and then you just start to do this, and you have freshly ground pepper, and yeah, that's that's your mortar and pestle lesson. Uh, what am I doing next? Oh yeah, I have those like eggs cooling and chilling, and I'm supposed to cool and chill this, but I'm not going to. 
And I might have to add more mayo to this. We're, we're gonna see. We're just gonna start just throwing egg yolks into the year. Well, we're gonna crack eggs first. I might not even show you me cracking eggs. So you don't know how my hot start turned out and you can be depressed. You'll find out in a moment. All right, grab your gloves that you definitely don't use for uh. Oh, yeah. don't look at that sauce over there. I, I get lazy sometimes, just. That's, that's not sauce. That's not, not homemade sauce. I'm not, I'm not lazy, I promise. Get your gloves that you use for a variety of things, we'll say. And a little, we'll call it a variety. Multi-use gloves. Yeah, multi-use gloves. That's a great point. We're gonna take cold water, right? And we're gonna just see, oh, was this one, was I too violent with this one? I like fruit ice. Don't get egg chips, don't get the shell down your sink. This is gonna be my one not evil thing of the day. These don't go through a garbage disposal, unless you have one that's like, tells you it can. These typically do not go down the garbage disposal. D don't, don't do that, you're gonna, d d d d please. Ah, back to it though. I wonder if I have a knife that's sharp enough to cut through these eggs without making them look like an atrocity. I have like very nice knives that I just have not been taken care of. Don't dissociate, children. Look at that, they're really beautiful eggs. The, hot, the, the, the scientists were right. You know, whatever scientist was like, this will make it easier to peel. If you didn't cure cancer, you at least cured the egg problem. I'm not going to show you me peeling 14 eggs though. The, no, you're not, we're not gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna peel them. Is the evil chef gonna do some snap magic? No, I don't even think I'm gonna give him the snap magic, you know what? <laughs> that last snap was just a joke. Uh, quiet down, dog, or you will become ham steaks. That, uh, that last snap was just a joke. It was really just me putting a curse on you, and I peeled the eggs while it embodied your soul. But, Sora. Shut up! Alright. Alright, yeah, we're, we're mean to animals. Alright, we turn puppy dogs into Pamsky Pamajan, friggin' boneless dog, uh, leg roasts. We're gonna take this knife that I don't think is sharp enough to cleanly cut through this, and we're gonna try to cleanly cut through this, and I hope it works, but you never know. Wow, that actually wasn't terrible. I mean, that was actually pretty great. Look, look at how, look at how hard boiled these are. They're very boiled hard. That was like 11 and a half minutes cold eggs being added into boiling water. And uh, yep, if you look closely, you can see the tiny little cavity here where there was a sole. And uh, I'm gonna remove the remnant casing and throw it into that mixture I was making earlier. And uh, this is gonna be another time where you get to see minimal action because I don't wanna bore you to death. I want to do other things to you to death. Look at all these would-be chickens. Yeah, they have no souls no more. They ain't gotta suffer. They're all... They're all... Gone. They're, they're gone. I'm gonna clean these up. Don't worry. They're not gonna look this hideous. Don't... Don't... Don't worry. Worry about something else. Worry about those car payments. What about that loan? You know what, we're gonna hope that that's not too much liquid for these guys, because if it is, I might have to boil more eggs. Uh, come here, little hand blender. I'm feeling especially lazy today. So much so that I have two different spokes that come from two different blenders that just so happen to work together. I don't know how, but hey. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna break these up a little bit. Such. And then we're gonna whip them. Yeah, another useful schizo cook tip is always salt, like, to taste. But by that I mean, like, don't just, like, assume. You can always add, you can rarely subtract, and, uh, yeah. Don't make it too salty. 
you, you're gonna have to make more of everything to dilute it and all that. Yeah, to, to do yourself a favor. Uh, uh, do I have a little hand mixer? Yeah, I might. I might. Hold on. It looks pretty, pretty clean. It looks pretty nice. You know what? I might. I have an idea. I'm gonna make this a little bit extra, a little extra unhealthy. It's not that this is already a very healthy product. that jiggle. That's good. Needs a little more salt. And yeah, maybe that. Needs a tiny bit more. And it needs bacon bits in the insides as much as it needs it on the outsides. What's that? You wonder how I made this? I wonder how I made it too. That's crazy. Uh, I'm just going to chop down this bacon. First I'm going to do that, make the pile a little easier here. Easier for you to comprehend, you know? We're just going to randomly go at it. Yeah, we're going to mix these in until it looks nice. Oh yeah, it's starting to look nice, I ain't gonna lie. Can't rush perfection. I know you probably did, but I can't, okay? I'm great. Let's, uh, let's set up a piping bag. There's a couple ways to do this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll show you one and you'll, you'll like it. You take a cup that's tall enough, and you take a piping bag, you put it in here, Kind of bring it down a little bit, fold the edge over the edge, like that. Get yourself a nice, uh, <clears throat> piping bag. Doesn't look like anything to you, does it? Just gonna spread it real quick. Very nice. Uh, yeah, make sure that's like that. There we go. Great. Alright. We're gonna take our egg mix. We're gonna hold here. We're just gonna poop. Let that plop to the bottom, how nice. Maybe we'll do like a smaller one so we don't overload the bag, like that. And we're gonna take it out of its hellish container and make it feel like it's being dropped. We're gonna take it like this, try to get that little air pocket out, but that can always happen later on. Do a little, do a little spin. Get it down. Check it out. And not overloaded piping bag. Then you just twist tie this off. I'll do that with twine wrap or something. Now I'm gonna do that like three more times and you're not gonna see it because boo. Alright, alright. We got our little little uh, little chickens here. Got my piping bag. We're gonna see how this looks when it's piped out. Who knows, might look terrible. No, oh, it looks pretty great actually. Should always use should always use a piping bag. This makes things look nicer. And if you don't, I mean I don't care. You know what? Don't mess up with it because then I'll be sad like I am with you and myself. Okay, now to go over these, maybe make them look better, maybe make them look worse, but either way they're getting garnished. Do a couple of taps to knock away those little little rims they got. <laughs> a little, looks like topographical map. You know, they, they look kind of scummy right now like I do. I like these loaded. You know, loaded like my personality. I'm full of, full of emotions. Most of them evil. I'm putting a hex on you right now. Uh, from a distance, we're just gonna kind of drop it. From like a foot above. I don't know if you can that really picks up on the camera, but it might, and if it does, wow. If it doesn't, <laughs> suffer. Alright, we're gonna take these here bacon bits, and we're gonna just, you know, we're just gonna like, kinda just like statue them on top, because they're candied bacon bits, so they kinda stick together. If you get a good patch of them and kinda press them together in a weird little statue, and yeah. That's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this off and you'll see the end product. 
Alright, now we're going to add little, little randomly placed dudes of these guys. I forget what they're called. Somebody in chat look that up, look that up. Uh, not really going to put them in any certain type of way because you puppy dog over there, you really want to be turned into puppy chow mein. That's, that's crazy. Oh, I had to let that noisy dog outside. I didn't want to have to make a second meal. I ain't that hungry. Watch her just start to like bark from the outside like, hey, you can't silence me. I made some, uh, made some crispy cheese. Just some nice crispy cheese. And we're gonna find places to put this. Dun dun. Then we're gonna add some more of this stuff. Oh yeah, look at that, they're all done. Didn't you, did you guys see me do all of that? Wasn't that crazy good? Didn't mess up once. Yeah, these look crazy good, man. Yeah, wow. They look very nice. If I walk into your function, and the deviled eggs don't look like this, don't taste like how I assume these taste. I'm going home. No, it's even. Let's add a little bit to this guy. You know, stand up, you. Wow, they look great. Yeah, those look really good. Let me uh, just, you know, let me. Hmm. I could knock out every one of these. I could demolish every single one of these. I don't care who you are. If you replicate what I did, I didn't show you how I candied my bacon. I didn't show you, show you how I made my mayo, whatever. If you replicate these with your own fling to it, your own mayo, your own style of making a cold bernays, the appropriate ingredients, you will knock out everything you make. <laughs> it's so good. <clears throat> well, now that I've made my favorite hors d'oeuvre I've ever made, please. Because if you don't, I want to state this for you, if you don't, I'm going to get real mad. I'm just going to start punching walls and being like a little angry kid. And then I'm just gonna like stalk you. Please. Like the video if you like the video. Dislike if you don't like me. I don't like me very much, that's fine. Subscribe, you know, ring that little notification bell. You know, comment if you want to see me make something else. And uh, please, give yourself a pat on the back for watching this. Thank you. I love you. Good night. Good morning. Good, good afternoon.